Hello and welcome back, Jay Collier from the Photography Workshop Co. Today, bringing you some information on some new products from Hyder for those that are after a neoprene lens cap to suit super tele lenses right through down to your wide angles. These do come in some various sizes, so stay tuned and I'll take you through some of the reasons why you may want to purchase one of the new lens hood protector covers from Hyder. As a professional wildlife photographer, I travel quite regularly with super tele lenses such as this one here, the 600 RF f4. And occasionally when it comes to traveling with these larger lenses, the bulk of the lens hood is restrictive as far as fitting it into backpacks. So I will actually travel a lot of the time with the lens hood off of the lens and in my checked luggage, which I then shove some jackets and things and stuff it inside but then that reduces the overall width and size of the lens to fit into backpacks. But the problem that occurs is that the supplied lens cover that comes with the super tele lenses doesn't attach to the front of the lens, leaving the front optic exposed to damage and scratching. We'll take a closer look at the product here today being the larger size available, which will suit super tele lenses such as a 600 f4, 400 2.8 and the larger family of super tele lenses. But I will also include some information, a link below, showing the various sizes available. So where I would see this really coming into play is on Safari in Africa, where I do quite a lot of my work, where shooting between multiple cameras with various lenses, I'll quite often have them on the seat next to me. And over that time, they get covered in dust uh, that floats around in the air when you're out there in Africa. So using these neoprene covers, it enables you to slip it over the front of the lens hood with the lens hood attached on the correct way or even the reverse way. But as I've mentioned before, when packing the lens and leaving the lens hood off, the cap itself will fit over the front of the lens, which I'll demonstrate for you in a moment. So they are available in two different colors. You've got the black and also the camo. Now the camo one's still sealed. I will open this one up in just a moment and show you the close up of the camo. But where I would generally use these is in travel and during shoots to keep dust off the front of the optic of the lens between shooting and changing between different cameras with different lenses. As mentioned, they are available for smaller sizes. I don't have a sample of the smaller size, but if you could imagine having a 100 to 400 like this one and having to reach inside to put the caps on and off, or if that was just left on a seat, exposed to dust and whatnot in between shooting while you're shooting out of a vehicle in Africa or anywhere in a dusty environment. Having the ability to use obviously the smaller size of these and pop them straight over the front of the lens hood will really come into play without having to fiddle around on the inside with the pinch clips on the lens caps. What I've found over the years shooting in Africa is that once dust does settle on the optic you will start to get a lot of lens flare and haze. And quite often in between game drives, I've looked down at the end of my lens, seeing it covered in dust. And there is a visible difference in the clarity and sharpness and contrast in your images once your optic is covered in fine dust. It is something that will happen regularly. I will actually quite often use a blower and blast that out. But reducing any dust getting there to begin with in between shooting by using these caps would really, really come into play in the field. So I'll pop the 100-400 aside for the moment, being that the versions that I do have here available as a sample is to compare the difference between what comes with your super tele lenses supplied from Canon versus the functionality that these may have. So the first thing you'll note on the supplied cap is there is a drawstring around. It is made of a heavyweight material with a hole at the side to expose your locking nut for the lens hood itself. Now this cover is very much suited for purpose, but putting this on and off uh, is not as quick and as easy as you might find with the neoprene. And this is definitely lighter weight, packs down a lot smaller, whereas this is quite rigid and it won't fold up. It take up a bit more space in your backpack or in your camera bag if you were traveling with this outside of its dedicated lens case. So with the supplied Canon cap, it's a simple case of just opening it up. There is a drawstring on the side for tightening. Once you pull that cap off, you'll see that if you were traveling with the lens without the front cap, it is exposing that extremely expensive front optic to damage if you are traveling with that inside of a camera bag. So as you'll see, the supplied Canon cap will actually do what this will do with the lens on the correct way as well as reversed. But where the Hyder one really comes into play, different to what happens with the supplied Canon cap, is if you are traveling with this lens 
in a backpack without the lens hood attached. So I'll just show you exactly what I mean here because it is something I quite often do to reduce size and bulk inside of my camera bag. I will actually take a close up of the inside of my Shimoda Action X 50 to show you that this lens will fit, but with the lens hood reversed, it takes up extra space, limiting the amount of space at the sides to put, fit other lenses and camera bodies and accessories. So let's take this cap off and I'll just show you what I mean here, that once you are traveling with the lens itself, without the lens hood attached, that front optic is exposed to damage. Now the supplied Canon cap, it's much larger because it's designed to fit the lens hood itself and not the front of the lens. So there's nothing that is going to keep that from falling off at all. Whereas the Hyder cap is a neoprene material, so the same as used in wetsuits. And once that is attached to the lens, it will actually stretch and hug around the outside of the lens itself, meaning that it won't fall off. So it will give you protection of that front optic when you're carrying this inside of the camera bag with the lens hood in your checked luggage. Now I'll grab my Shimoda Action X50 backpack and just show you how much extra space is taken up when the lens hood is attached to the lens inside of a camera bag and where this lens cap will really come into its own to help protect the front of your optic versus the supplied cap that comes with any of the Super Tele lenses from Canon or any other brand for that matter. So looking at the Shimoda Action X50 here, I don't actually have my large insert. So all of the Shimoda bags come with removable buckets. Now this is the larger bucket, which is the DV range. So for high-end cinema products, being that they're a little bit deeper, I find I do prefer these buckets over the smaller ones. There is a larger one that you can get um, that will be taller than the insert section of the back of the bag that opens up here. So what I'll find is if I am using the larger bucket, it will fit the Super Tele lens in. I just have that at my office at the moment and not here at home. So to give you an idea, the lens itself, once you've got that inside of the bag, it will fit all the way over to the side quite easily. So if we stand this up and we have a look, you've got quite a lot of room down the side once you've got the taller bucket in to allow for two pro camera bodies, 100 to 400. So as a in the field kit for wildlife photography, having the lens hood off and using the hider cap to protect the front optic, it does give you that ability for a little bit more room. So what you'll see is once you do have the lens hood on reversed, the lens hood itself takes up that bit more room that you can't fit the extra gear and why I would find this useful for being in transit. Now obviously out in the field, you'll be probably putting this in and out of the backpack and having a camera body on your person, which would mean just for carrying in between locations if you are walking on foot, it will give you the ability to, to stash the whole lens in there. And again, I find this folds up to a nice small size and compact versus the width and size of the supplied hood from Canon. As I mentioned earlier, it's also available in the camo color. So we'll open this one up and show you the difference between the black and the camo. Okay, so it's your classic, uh, you know, birders and wildlife photographers will go for camo versus the black itself. It's entirely up to you. If you were using products such as the lens coat products to cover your whole camera in, in camo, then you do have that option to get yourself a cap that will match the camo of your lens coat system, for example. Now I'll remove the camera from the tripod in a moment, take a couple of close-ups of this and show you the pack down profile size difference in comparison to the supplied cap with Canon. So here you'll see a good idea of just how packable these are. These will fold flat, whereas the original Canon ones will have the frame built into them. They're a lot more bulky and this is a hard cap end. So it won't fold, it won't actually fit in your camera bag for stowage as much as this can fold up into a very small space and fit a very, very small area inside of your backpack. So thanks again for sticking around and checking these out. I will put links to the Hyder website showing the various sizes available for these. And because they do stretch, they will fit a majority of lens sizes or lens hood sizes in millimeters across. So you will see on the website, a list of sizes where these caps could come into play. All you'll need to do is just measure across the front of your lens hood and lens itself 
to figure out which size will best suit the lenses that you need. These are now available online. These will be shipping shortly in Australia, and I believe the retail for these are only around $29. So if anyone has ever lost one of the supplied caps from any super tellies, whether that be Canon, Nikon, Sony, or the rest of them, you'll generally find these are quite expensive to replace. So you will find much better value going with the replacement and the extra functionality with the Hyder caps. So thanks again for sticking around and checking out the Hyder lens caps, and there will be more information below and links so you can check these out and consider purchasing one for yourself. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you again very, very soon. Cheers.